Let's have some fun today. So let's go over discomfort and whether it's coming from disc or muscle. And so when people are in front of me and they're saying they're having some back pain, one of the first steps to figure out what that recovery is gonna look like is, is that discomfort coming from a disc in their back or is that discomfort coming from muscle? Those two different pathways look very different when the recovery and how they feel, but we gotta figure that out first because that can make a big difference down the long run. And it can help save you time and frustration and money in the very beginning if we can figure out, okay, is this disc or is this muscle? And answering that question is our job today. So if you guys love the content and you guys want more um, information like that please subscribe but otherwise guys staying with hang with me we're gonna have some fun is it disc or is it muscle ah I don't know but let's figure it out together all right got my trusty spine here an old patient who uh, uh, donated their body to science no I'm just kidding it's just a plastic model but um, so discogenic pain or disc pain right discogenic means just like coming from the disc the disc is the the little space um, that's full of this fluid and this and like has this fibrous structure around it it's this little circle and it help gives you gives you height and also mobility so it's a shock absorber of the spine and allows you to bend forward and backward and pick up heavy things and do amazing things because of this disc and how fluid and how flexible but yet strong it is and so it, it's very very amazing well this disc can absolutely cause discomfort right and so there is a part of that disc that does have nerve fibers and if it has nerve fibers then it has the ability to heal but it also has the ability to send a signal to your brain saying yo I have pain and when you have disc pain, I'm looking for a few things. And so people think disc in causing sciatica or nerve root compression. And so if you have disc discomfort or a disc bulge, not so much a bulge, but a herniation or a sequestration, they call it, where it's involved into the spinal canal and it's pinching on that nerve or encroaching on that nerve and it's in pain in that area, but also down the leg. And so any of that stuff is fair game. And so when I'm trying to figure out if that person's pain is discogenic or coming from the disc in their back, I'm having them do at least two things. One, I'm gonna have you bend over. And so if you bend over, you are putting extra pressure into that disc because it is a shock, shock absorber and it does allow you to bend forward. That bending forward moment can cause pressure into the disc. It's supposed to, the pressure does change. It's made to do that. Well, if you have an increase in discomfort that gives you some radiating discomfort either into the side of your body or down the leg, especially past the knee, I start to get a little bit more curious about the disc. It doesn't say it's conclusively the disc, but I get a little bit more curious about it. And so if they're having disc pain and they bend over and they feel it more radiating off to the side, into the hip or down the leg, I'm like, yo, I'm like, you may have more disc involvement. Because of how closely that disc lives to the spine, if it has some sort of change in inflammation or change in pressure or movement and it refers pain down the leg, I will say, hey, oh, like that may be more discogenic related in nature. So that can help us figure out, okay, like is a disc, but at the same time, we have muscle that lays right on top of that disc to help give us the power to move, right? We don't move without muscle. And so when people have an acute spasm or they say they throw their back out, that feels very different than a disc because of the different traits. And muscle is very different than a disc, right? A disc is mostly water and fibrous um, material. And then, um, not fibrous, what am I think? Collagenous, right? It is like long uh, collagen, fibers of collagen. And then you're having the muscle, which is like red meat, right? That's the steak, that's the raw meat that we eat. So it is the meat of your back that allows you to move. And so that feels very different than a disc. And so when I'm looking at somebody and they have more muscular, uh, muscle involvement, they're having like an acute spasm, um, that's typically related to movement. So these people can lie down and be relatively pain-free. But when they go to stand up and they go to, put, let's say, put weight on a leg and they're like, Ugh, or they're stuck in this position and they can't get up, Ugh. right? You can't move, you're stuck, you've thrown your back out or you're, you're in this spasm-like discomfort. Well, then that tends to be more muscular in nature. And so in the very beginning, discs and muscles can feel very similar in that if you're having an acute episode, let's say within the first few days or so, you're locked up and you're stuck, it can get a little bit harder to determine if it's a disc or if it's muscle because you can't do anything, right? To determine those things, we need you to be able to do something. You need to be able to walk or move or tell me about it. And that's hard to do when you're stuck, right? And so that can, in the very beginning, figuring out if it's disc or muscle can be very challenging. But after a few days, you're starting to move more and your discomfort's starting to settle in. You're like, oh, is it more here? Is it more there, down the leg? 
figuring it out if it's disc or muscle can be a little bit easier. So in summary, if it's disc or muscle, that's hard to figure out in the very beginning. So just give it a little bit of time. Do the acute throw your back out protocol, which would be just active movement or active recovery, rest, listen to your body, let you to be able to get up and start walking again. But once you start getting through that phase, moving into the next phase of figuring out if it's disc or if it's muscle can be a little bit easier to do. So if you can't figure it out yourself, find a provider, team up with hopefully conservative in nature, such as a physical therapist that'll watch you move and listen to how you describe your pain to help figure out the cause of it, to help figure out the next best treatment for you is the best case scenario. But if it's disc or muscle, just know both of them do improve over time, but their pathway to recovery looks a little bit different for each of them. And so if it's disc, you may have some nerve related movement or it may refer down to the leg, very common. If it's muscular, it's most likely related to movement, which you can lie down and feel relatively okay. But when you go to stand up or bend over, arch your back backwards, or type of movement such as picking something up, it can be really uncomfortable. Disc pain tends to be more sharp, radiating in discomfort, where muscular pain tends to be more achy, deep, and throbbing in nature. So hope that, hope that helps you guys. If you guys like the information, if they found that helpful, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments as well. Subscribe to the channel and give me some love and uh, just give the channel some love. And as always, guys, stay healthy, keep moving, and take care of yourself.